Hey everyone, welcome to Geek Peak TV. We're gonna check out one of the hottest parties in town in Seattle for 2012, Techstars Demo Day After Party. There is gonna be about 800 people here and it is going to be out of control. Let's go take a peek inside. We've had the most number of people ever here. We're over 700 people. The companies performed awesomely. They're getting funded. What's there to complain about? Absolutely. So give me some advice. What can you tell other entrepreneurs, other startups out there? What is the most important piece of information that you can give them? I've had that question this evening, and it's actually very simple advice, hard to follow. Choose a market, solve a problem. That's it. It's that simple. I've had trouble following it. Lots of other people have had trouble following it, but it's that simple. The other thing that we've heard tonight is that this is your third year with the Tech Start of Seattle. This year has been phenomenal. The people that presented were amazing. The team worked really hard. Um, I worked hard and I pulled it off again 30 days ago. It was not that. It didn't appear that way. It's really been the last 30 days. start with the people, so outstanding engineers, outstanding business people, that's where it starts, that's what we look for. I am a startup concierge for Startup Seattle. It'd be if you're a startup out there that's looking to get into the startup community, you're new out here and you're looking for someone to welcome you in, think of me as your personal concierge. I'll take care of you. I love it. So, I, I, shameless plugs, you got any more? Any more shout outs? Yeah, I got this uh, cool, cool uh, new thing in town called geekpeak.tv. You gotta check them out. They're awesome. Geek Peak is uh, definitely the way to go. So you guys did an amazing job. What do you think of the party so far? I mean, we had more people at this demo day than we have at any year in the past. We started in 2010. It's been three years now. So it's 2012. We are at like more investors, more mentors, more money raised going into demo day. So it's really exciting. I have the man, the ship leader, Bill Gordon in the house. Tell me a little bit about what you do for the people that I'm a former professional poker player. I uh, played pro for 10 years. I uh, hosted a show on Bravo called Celebrity Poker Showdown for a little while and also did a radio show for ESPN. But now I'm CEO of a Seattle gaming company called Jawfish Games. Uh, we are essentially making tournament, tournament software for mobile games. Uh, hyper focus, I think, is the key. You can kind of take your startup, you can take the intersection of what you're best in the world at, the best economic model, and, and what you're passionate about, and you can hyper focus your energy right there. You have almost no chance of failure. Hey everyone, I have John from Geekwire here. John, what do you think of the event so far? Oh, it's been a great event. Uh, you know, you got the poker going, you have the pitches. It's been fun, we've had a good time. Um, I thought the level of the pitches, the startup pitches today, were, was really, really high. I picked my three favorite companies and posted them on GeekWire. And awesome. So do you have any secret tips or advice to get noticed since you're getting hundreds of emails a day? you got to have your story done. you got to tell something that's really unique. It's like a pitch to an investor, uh, very much so as, as it is to a, a, to a journalist. So you really got to tell your story and make it rise above all the other clutter that's out there. So, 
yeah, I would highly recommend for most of the startups out there that you should have the direct one-to-one -one relationship with the journalists and try to build that up. Follow them on Twitter, interact with them on Twitter, comment, comment on their websites, show that you're part of the community, and then you'll start to build up a relationship. I mean, I've been doing this for more than a decade now, and I've seen repeat entrepreneurs that I know in town that are on their third floor startup. And there's a relationship there that now I can tell those stories and I know that history, and that's fun. I mean, I think that's the way to do it.